let's make our way over there. So, full disclosure, guys, I actually have not been playing anything, really, for almost two weeks. So, I know this video is going to come out right about the time uh, that it would normally come out, and that is mainly because I schedule my videos ahead of time. But the reason why I haven't been playing anything in a week, uh, uh, in a couple of weeks is because <coughs> I've actually had COVID. So, uh, long story short, I was very sick, I felt very bad, I still don't feel the greatest if I'm being completely honest. I feel good enough that I feel like I could record, and because of that, I'm here, right? But with that comes a, a little caveat. I can't promise it's gonna be a normally, you know, normal length video because, again, I don't know how I'm gonna feel throughout the video or throughout the recording, so hopefully it ends up being good. Because I do, I do want to get back to it, man. I miss working. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. Let's go. Got him. She stared at me the whole time. The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Yes. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal, you have the smell of dog about you. I wonder why that is. It's a weird thing to say. Is it me or her? Does her hand look a little weird? She looks worried. Ah, I'm looking uh, into something for Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek, is it? Uh huh. And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. Uh, what kind of help do you need? Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. Who's your brother? My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. You know, it's kind of funny because uh, I have a friend named Miri who is also looking for a brother, and she ended up being my companion. Maybe you could come too. Uh, so what do you need me to do? Head into the Red Exiles camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. Okay. Uh, your brother rules over the Ashlander tribes? No, just our <sighs> tribe. The Urshilaku. Though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. He does hope to unite the tribes in a common cause, however. That's one of the reasons we've gathered here at Aldrin. Okay. Well, tell me more about Chalada. Cho- Cho- Chodala. My brother and I have always worked to help our people, and improve the Ashlander way of life. He used to believe that peaceful negotiation was the best path to accomplish this. Recently, however, things have become different. He's almost like... Like what? No, that's not something I'm ready to talk about with an outsider. Mm. Perhaps after you prove your trustworthiness and willingness to help us, then we can discuss my brother in more detail. Perhaps. Okay, well, I mean, you said Ch Chodala uh, wants to unite the tribes. Are you planning to go to war? That's not our goal. But the tribes will defend themselves if necessary. No, we hope to present a united front and show the houses the folly of the path they've embarked upon. Turning away from our forefathers and god ancestors has made them weak. Uh, well tell me more about the Red Exiles. The Red Exiles? They're violent, dangerous Sashlanders. My kind of They're people. vanished from their tribes and joined together to create their own clan. Chodala invited them to the gathering and went into the camp to talk. But he's been gone too long. I'm worried. You think I'll have to fight my way through the camp? As you saw, hostility is second nature to the Red Exiles. We're here to negotiate, but they're no better than thieves and murderers. 
If they spot you in their camp, you'll need to defend yourself. It's unfortunate, but they'll leave you no choice. Okay, goodbye. Alrighty. Aha! Uh -huh. I was just waiting for you to see me. Chump. Wait. Let's try to let's try to sneak. I wanna see if I can sneak through here. Never mind. I'm horrible at stealth, man. Never count on me for stealth, it never works. Stealth is broken when it comes to me using it. Notes of the meeting with Chala Ch Chadala. I keep saying Chalada like if it's a freaking alcoholic beverage. That tastes actually pretty freaking fantastic. But anyways, uh, uh, Chalada Neverine. The Ner... Ner... Ner I can never say that word. Ever since Morrowind. Uh, and wielder of Shanara. Compiled by Scribe Dakin. Dude, I can never read these. Kundund... <laughs> read... Oh, you know what? You guys can read this. Because I will butcher everything. There you guys. Just go ahead and push pause. And you guys can read this for yourselves. I'll read it in post so I don't further embarrass myself. Yeah, that was a lot to read anyways. Okay. So I guess we're just going back to the same place we were just at? Oh, that was a fail. Oh, there she is. Hello. You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. You don't say. Did you find my brother? Absolutely not. But I did, uh, uh, but I found this record of his meeting with the Red Exile leaders. Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh, no. I can't believe my brother would be so brazen. Uh, he called himself the Nev the Nerevereen. The Nerevereen. The Nerever Fuck it. I give up. Uh, do you know what that means? Yes, I know what that means. I've played Morrowind, the old Xbox game. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Another scroll? Did Chalada, did Ch Chodala write this? Chodala discovered new power Chodala. in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's a Nerevarine, and incites the tribes while I try to keep them all from doing anything rash. What is a Nerevarine? You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander. And the house elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the tribunal before they claimed to be gods. Until they betrayed him. The tribunal betrayed the ne uh, betrayed Nerevar. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. Sounds intense. But where did the uh, Nerevarine fit into all of that? The Nerevarine was a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar will be known as the Nerevarine. So, he's a mixture of Jesus and Trump. <laughs> it's a joke, guys. Don't have heart attacks in, this, in the comment sections. Okay. Uh, you don't believe Chodala's claim? While the prophecy of the Nerevarine can be interpreted as the end of the tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevarine I believe in. You think Chodala wants a war? 
He uses in Ashkan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers. Ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. His words become more forceful every day. But I hope to dissuade him from this violent course. Uh, tell me more about Chodla's new power. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodla returned from a sojourn in the wilderness, more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. What do you think the source of Chodla's new power is? Chodla says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know hmm. it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. I don't know what Sunara is, but maybe it's some sort of uh, Daedric artifact, perhaps? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully I'm, uh, I'm keeping the energy at least at a normal level. I don't feel terrible anymore, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm able to manage. Whoops. That's the good thing. How do I get over there? Do I, is it far? Let me see. Oh, it's on the opposite side. I'm honestly better off fast traveling here and then just running. No, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. It is the only one, right? It is. Okay. Yeah, no, I was right. I'm better off just fast traveling there and then just huffing it on pony all the way over there. Where are we at? Ha! I love this mount so much, man. It's my it's literally my favorite mount. I know it's it's basic. It's uh it's just a simple horse, but I love it, dude. I know it's uh, it's backed by a huge bias since Imperials are my favorite race. But you know what, dude? This mount is amazing. That uh that black I forgot what it's called, the quasi quasigriff or whatever it's called. The one that the black bird with no wings. That's my second favorite. I use those two mounts. A lot to be honest I'm trying to figure out how to get over there I was trying to get over there without having to fall into the water I guess that wasn't gonna work for me was it okay the good thing is we're already about halfway there So that's good. Come on, Bastion. Keep up. We literally should be here any second now. Is this it? It is not it. Man, the, it is... This place is beautiful in a weird way, isn't it? Like giant mushrooms and everything. It's weird. Like, it, it, you could definitely... Ooh, I see. I see something I want. I want it. Bastion. Good. They backed out. Cowards. <laughs> Says the guy that literally did not fight. Alright, where are we? Ashlander flame. So these are good guys. Oh no. Investigate the tower. Is this it? It's not it. So let me get back on my horse. Since I'm trespassing anyways. Get out of the way. Okay, that's good. Bastion, don't attack anybody. How do I get in there? Yeah. 
Um, is it this? Yes, it is. Well, hello there, Barlilla's Tower. I butchered it, I know. You don't have to tell me that in the comment section, because I'm not, I'm not a very good reader, okay? And it's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay. Okay? Wow. Okay, well, so we're finally in. Bastion, you better keep that staff ready. We're going straight into the li li library. Laboratory. Oh, man, I thought there was going to be enemies here. Hey, Bar Lazar, or whatever. Such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works, even though every calculation is precise. Now an interruption. How infuriating. Wait, wait. Sometimes the great gear turns from frustration to opportunity. I mean, I guess... Anyways, look, did you know anything about Divine Energy? Divine Energy? I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sothis Seal's nine analyses of the Exalted Enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about to determine the correlation between color and time. And I could use another set of hands. Okay, well, if I help you, will you answer my questions? A reciprocal exchange. Interesting, yes. <laughs> I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Very well. Just activate the crystals in the proper sequence while I modulate the energy flow. Less chance of an explosion that way. What do you want me to do again? Such a waste repeating words. I hate activate it too. Activate the crystals in the proper order. It's all about colors. Like a rainbow. Make a mistake and reset the mechanism using that lever. Unless it explodes. You'd be surprised how often that happens. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> like a rainbow. Got it. So how do I know which color is the right one? No, no, no. Reset the mechanism and try again. Okay. How do I reset the mechanism? This thing? So it's not green. It's not that one. This one? Red. Red is number one. Maybe yellow? Green. Blue and purple. Hey! I can't believe I figured that out. The keyword was like a rainbow. You know, rainbows don't go from extreme color to extreme color. They kind of they're they're they kind of like blend almost, you know. Nice. Perfect. Such are the benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Thank you. Now, why do you want to know about divine energy? Well, I was sent to ask you about the transfer of divine energy. Sent? How intriguing. I was just thinking about my former master, Sir Basile, and the experiments we conducted. He desperately sought to understand the power he and his companions attained, especially whether or not that power was temporary. I wonder if we're going to meet the other two uh, divine people, Sir Thessil, because we've already met, um, what's his name? Uh, Vivek, Lord Vivek, obviously. Now, Sorthasil, and then the last one is, uh, Almalexia, you know? So it's like, I wonder if we're gonna meet them. I'm actually kind of very interested in Almalexia. She's... I kind of remember her, uh... Obviously, the, the main one I remember is Lord Vivek, but we've already met. But out of the other two, Sorthasil and Almalexia, I remember Almalexia more. Uh, did Sorthasil reach, uh, a conclusion? Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. He could extract it and return it as he saw fit. Not sure what became of the tool, but here are my notes from those days. Uh, these notes should be helpful. Can I ask you more uh, a few more questions? More questions? Well, Lord Sophie Seal attributed curiosity to intellectual superiority. Suppose I should do the same. 
Ask, and I will attempt to tighten the cogs of your ongoing education as best I can. Um, I want to go straight for this. That tool you mentioned, is it a weapon? Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? A saw? A Dwemer spring spanner? It can be. It was just a tool. A device crafted by Sir Thessil to aid in his endless experiments. I suppose I could imagine ways to modify the device, but for what reason? Hmm. Uh, do you know where the tool is now? Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off when you don't stay vigilant. I had a guava used to swallow tools when I wasn't looking. Glowed for a month until the enchantment dissipated and the tool passed. <laughs> you have heard the screams. Oh god, that's horrible. You worked for, uh, with Sword of the Sill? I was his apprentice, but that was years ago. Spent time working in the Clockwork City. That's what I learned about energy transference, Dwemer engineering, mechanical symmetry. Made me the Dark Elf I am today. But I have a question. Who sent you? Our, uh, Arch Cannon Tarvis sent me. Who's directly under, uh... Lord Vivek. <clears throat> the Archcanon, Lord Vivek's high priest. Exactly. Sadly, the gears are lying. I can think of a number of reasons that Alm and V would want to know about C and his tools, but some doors just shouldn't be opened. I've never... I, I could be wrong, maybe they have referenced them like this before. Al Malexia, Vivek, and so uh, Sortha Sil. I've never heard them reference as Alm, V, and C. Or Psy, or whatever, however he said that. That's weird. Tell me more about Sword of the Sill. He's the father of mysteries, and the architect of time. One of the tribunal. The three living gods of the Dark Elves. Creates all sorts of helpful and intriguing devices, like the Clockwork City. I haven't seen my old master in many years. What's the Clockwork City? It's a wonder and a miracle. All brass tunnels, glass domes, and giant gears. He was inspired by the work of the Dwemer. But the Clockwork City is pure so for seal. <laughs> he made it to forge the future and reshape the world. I learned a lot there. Okay, goodbye. It's not very often I solve puzzles first try, but when it does happen, it makes me feel very... Very... Good. <laughs> just happens to be when I'm sick so maybe I need to get sick more often so where am I going at now am I going back to uh, okay yeah, I am over here who are you oh it's him you can talk this requires a considerable amount of effort so just listen we have a problem here return to my office immediately Okay, we have a problem. I actually, I was gonna say I don't want to run all the way to the way shrine, but there's actually one right over here that I could just hop to pretty quickly. Let's not aggro any enemies though, because then I'm gonna have to fight. Right there. <laughs> I like that he has his own door, man. It makes it easy, you know? Bashi, get out of my way. At last. Did you see what's happening outside? No. Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. Soon I'll have to muster the ordinators to keep them from the palace doors. Yikes. Is that the emergency? The people want to see Lord Vivek? In part. Lord Vivek is... not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy, and it's becoming difficult for him to maintain the realm in his usual fashion. Now, what did your investigations uncover? So he's sick. I mean, they've already said that, but at least we had that in common. 
Uh, I investigated the three locations. Here's what I learned. I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. You should go see Lord Vivek now. He's been asking about you. I'll be along shortly. I respect anybody who can digress and have a change of opinion or mindset. Uh, and and not be struck by pride or anything like that, you know? So, I respect this guy for apologizing uh, for that. Uh, you're going to just read the notes? I thought we could discuss what I learned. Very well. Tell me what you learned at each of the locations, and let's see what conclusions we can come to. Uh, cultists took over the mine at Bal uh, outside Balmora. From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the tool barrels I'll mention. And it seems the Ashlander themes are connected to Chodala. Your evidence points to a clear conclusion. Yep, Chodala is using Sun Ra to steal Vivek's divine energy. So it appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain, but I can see how much the draining of his energy has cost him. Just seeing you again should improve his mood considerably. And the progress you made with your investigations, outstanding. Uh, an Ashlander named Chodala has been inciting the tribes. So your notes say, and this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Most Ashlanders want nothing to do with the tribunal. Even so, they rarely become aggressive. I'd say this Chodala bears watching. If we can spare it, I'll send an armager to Aldrin. I don't know why every single time I see Aldrin, it literally reminds me of Alduin from Skyrim. I don't know why. Well, I mean, it's obvious why, but still. Uh, Chodala's uh, newfound power might have something to do with Vivek's problem. Interesting theory. Perhaps Chodala's staff can steal Vivek's energy. I'm having a hard time imagining how an Ashlander could Accomplish such a feat. Lord Vivek said the draining has grown more intense since you left. It doesn't look well. Well, Bal Bar Barizar Bar Baltazar, fuck it, <laughs> told me about Sorthasil's experiments with divine energy. He gave me his notes. Barizar faithfully served Sorthasil. He's as loyal to the tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. But that tool he mentioned. Perhaps one of the priests Vivek sent away could search the temple archives for more information. Good to know. Vivek sent away all his priests? Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. I mean, that and makes you, sense. Canon Levruel, and myself are permitted into his palace now. Speaking of the palace... Lord Vivek wants to see you when we're done here. I mean, we're done now, but thank you, though. I'll go over there and see him right away. Lord Vivek, I'm coming to see you, my dying friend. Oh, look, here he is in his half-naked self. Glorious half-naked self, that is. How many horses have you seen climb up like this? Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. Oh, they look so worried. Rock's still there. We're still safe. We are still safe. Lord Vivek. My lord. <gasps> please, let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballad. There must be something I can do. You can call the Arch Cannon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. I've already told him all the news. Dude, look, he's not even floating. In well, he is still floating, but he doesn't have both legs wrapped around each other anymore. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Hmm. Needs some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy, and it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? So I think that an Ashlander named Chodala might be responsible for your condition. An Ashlander? That seems unlikely. But I 
trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala than the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this. Another token of my appreciation. And look, here comes the Arch Cannon now. I mean, it sounds possible. Unless there's a twist story, it kind of sounds like Chodala's in, in, uh, involved in this somehow. Or we pretty much know how. He's transferring his energy. My lord. The Outlander may have actually discovered something. <laughs> may have actually. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodala has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. So, so it was. So then everything we learned was true. So you know how to restore Lord Vivek's powers? Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution. One that probably involves Chodala's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothasil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. Yeah, for real. Uh, you want me to acquire the staff called Sun Ra? Sun, Sun Suna Ra? Eventually. But we need to be cautious. If Chodala is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldrin and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. I can kill them all, single-handedly, it's no problem. <laughs> I'll go talk to Saren. Get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Do people really not know or pay attention enough to have to keep re-asking this question? I'm going to ask it anyways, but... Really? You know? What's happening to Lord Vivek again? Didn't we cover this? Million times. Let me refresh your memory. Lord Vivek suffers stoically as his divine energy drains away. Neither my administrations nor his defenses have been sufficient to plug the hole. So we've isolated him to keep panic to a minimum. <sighs> sorry. I have very low energy, guys. I'm I'm really sorry. Uh I've been like pretty drained since I've got you know the the COVID, you know? What does the tribunal think of the Ashlanders? They try not to think about them at all. The Ashlanders are savages. They refuse to acknowledge the supremacy of Lord Vivek in the tribunal, instead putting their faith in the despicable Daedra. They're heretics, pure and simple. Do you really think the, uh, this could lead to all-out war with the Ashlanders? The Ashlanders hold the superstitions the way Kwama protect their eggs. If they really consider Chodala to be the Nereverin, then any action you take against him will enrage the tribes. Talk to Saren and see if she can suggest an alternative course. Or or maybe convince him that he's not the Nereverin. I think I just said it right. Maybe. Interesting. Uh, why do you think the people are going to panic? That's an obvious statement, dude. If that's like their god, basically, or, or god-like in a person, they're going to worship him. And if you try to kill him, they're going to rise up. Experience, Outlander. Experience. I have seen the Dunmer rage against the gods at the least provocation. When they realize that Vivek is ill, that his powers are failing, they'll weep and gnash their teeth like frightened children. That's true. You really expect that strong, uh, that strong a reaction just because Vivek's ill? I mean, it's possible. It's their living god. The people don't handle the infirmities of their deities very well. Especially when those infirmities could foreshadow Red Mountain's eruption or pretend the moonlits fall from the sky. Once such fear ignites, it spreads like wildfire. Uh, God, uh, this question again. What's cause, causing Vivek's loss of a divine energy? 
If we knew for certain, we wouldn't be sending you to make a deal with a heretical Ashlander, now would we? Shodala must have something to do with Vivek's energy loss. But the how and why remain a mystery. That's why I must examine that staff. Why do you think the staff is important? Everything you uncovered suggests the staff and Sotha Sil's missing tool are one and the same. And it's obviously connected to Chodala's newfound powers. Bring it back here so I can study it. The solution resides in the staff. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I mean, it's highly probable if I'm being completely honest. It seems like that's the direction we're heading to. But who knows? Maybe there's... Oh my god! That was crazy. I really thought we were gonna die. So where are we going? Um, I guess we're going here. And then ride a cowboy up north. Oh, we got a long ride. Everyone's talking about Lord Vivek. That's crazy. The Ar Arch... Uh, the Arch guy. He pretty much said it was going to happen. And it's starting. Look how beautiful this looks. My god. It's, a, it's beautiful in a weird way, you know? Am I going the right way? Honestly, I don't know. Vardenfell kind of confuses me. It's a very confusing landscape. Oh, we were here. We were here earlier. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna discover this way shrine. Pretty sure this is the one we're looking. Oh yeah, this, this is it. There's a couple of dailies here. One of them on the far side is the one Miri likes. If you do. In here, in this tent. This way. Give me one second, Saren. In here, there's this lady. I, I think you have to like complete the quest or something first. But if you have Miri and you do that quest line, she give, it gives you like 125 or something like that. Uh, you know, companion rapport, which is a ton. So if you do the daily quest, you'll level up your companion in no time. I about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevering since we last spoke. No matter how I try... The word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise woman that his quest for power will benefit the tribes. Okay, first things first. What the hell is this? <laughs> it looks like a bug. But anyways, what can I do to help? My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes. Not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. Respect the Ashlander customs and traditions. Anything else will lead to violence and bloodshed. So what do we do? We talked to my brother. Tried to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. Whatever Chodala says or does, don't attack him. We don't need a war between the houses and the Ashlanders. I'll follow your lead then. So he's in here. Why? Oh, this is the wise woman. The wise woman. <gasps> I was hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. <sighs> That staff definitely looks weird. My brother Chodala is about to do something foolish and dangerous. But by dusk and dawn, Azura put you and I on the same path for a purpose. I just hope we have enough time. What's Chodala going to do? He's about to claim the title of the Nerevarine and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribes. If he persuaded the wise woman to his cause. What a chode. Allah. <laughs> Tell me about the wise woman. 
wise woman Dovrasi, the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. If she confirms my brother's assertion, the tribes will follow wherever he leads. We need to talk to the wise woman then. Agreed. But I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the wise woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. Man, we haven't seen Azura since the beginning have uh, uh, at all, have we? Uh, then I'll head to the cavern of the Incarnate then. The cavern's <clears throat> to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the cavern and talk to the wise woman. If she accepts Chodala's claim about the Nerevarine. Why don't you agree with your brother? When Chodala became a Gulakon, a champion of our people, I supported him. When he stepped forward as Ashkan, leader of our tribe, I was at his side. But this new claim, it comes with strange powers and talk of war. I can't support those things. It's probably because he's not actually a never, never, Nerevarine. Tell me more about the Nerevarine, actually. Azura proclaimed that someday, Indurel Nerevar, a hero from our ancient past, would return to unite the Dark Elves and right the wrongs of Nern. We call the returned incarnate the Nerevarine. My brother Chodala believes that he's Nerevar reborn. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's diluted, man. What's the cavern of incarnate? My brother isn't the first to believe he's Nerevar returned. All of the previous failed incarnates rest within the cavern. A statue of Azura watches over them as they await the arrival of the true Nerevarine. So they... They die. Essentially. In the cavern. Inter... God, man. We got to go way over there. How do we get there? So we have to go around this mountain... I think the easiest way might be to go this way. I'm going to try to go north. Use my claim. Just in case, make sure the red exiles are ready. Your word is law, Nerevarine. Oh god. That is not okay. Screwed. I'm going. Ah, oh, a fellow outsider in this inhospitable sea of ash. I'm not. I'm gonna go here and go north. Screw it. <clears throat> I hate going around this mountain, dude. It is horrible. I played this for many thousands of hours. This game, and uh, long story short, man, I can't. I still, till this day, have a hard time navigating around Ash or Red Mountain. Where am I? Going the wrong way. First of all. Excuse me coming through. <clears throat> well, I have no idea what happened there. Oh, there's a... Sky Shard around here somewhere too. Literally right up ahead. Where? There it is. Yay! Okay, so now. I think I'm gonna discover this way shrine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely discover that way shrine just in case I get lost. I have a reference to start over from. Hold on. Where am I? There it is, right there. I thought it was over here, but it wasn't showing up. 
I found it. And I found some enemies. Yay, me. Oh, come on. I need to go faster. See you later, beetle. Yeah, there is no... Whoops. There's that many, uh... Oh, there's a sky shard here. I didn't even see this. But I'm taking it. Bastion, help me, my friend! I guess he didn't want to fight, coward. Okay. Yeah, we still got a long way to go. Whoops. This place is ins it's insanely far. I will definitely get there eventually. In about five hours. Plus tax and shipping and handling. I mean, we're, we're definitely almost there. That's the good thing. Maybe I shouldn't have came this way. Maybe. No! No, don't- Fuck! <laughs> that is not what I wanted to happen. I'm not trying to go there. Crap, dude. If I hadn't- I, If I hadn't fell off that mountain, I would have probably been- there a lot faster. Actually, we're here. Hello? Sir. What's her name? Sir. Saren? I think that's her name. What? Is my Shut up. Don't worry. I'm, a, I'm here with. I don't know who I'm with, to be honest. Thank you for aiding me, but I sense you came for a different purpose. Oh, that's talk inside the cavern. That's the wise woman. Ooh, that's interesting. Cavern of the Incarnate. That's Azura. Surely there must be another way. Mm. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. Ooh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Hello. I said hello. It feels strange to talk to an Outlander in such a sacred place. But the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim. And she says you can help me reach the correct decision. This is about Chotala and the Nervarine, right? Words of truth from the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. <laughs> the Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chotala is the Nervarine. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. Yeah, for real. Is there a way to prove he's not the Nervarine? Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. I'm not. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed incarnates. That might do the trick. Failed incarnates? We thought the incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar. But each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the Incarnates. 
So I have to talk to a bunch of dead people. Track in. Uh, how do I uh, talk to the spirits of the incarnates? Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. Goodbye. Whoop, whoop. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. Okay, can you shut up so I can listen? Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azora urges. They decide, uh, they decided you weren't the Never Nerevarian? Why? To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere. And I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Well, that's one major comparison between him and her. The war. You. Do not. Die not. Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled. I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlander. What ended your quest to become the Nerevarian? The Nerevarian must listen as well as proclaim. I refused to accept wise counsel, which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerevar. Take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. That's true. Last one. What? I didn't want to pick up no Nightwood shield. Bastion, go away! We are the failed incarnates. You don't say. The Ashlanders who proudly proclaim themselves to be the Nerevarians. But were found wanting. The Lady of Dawn and Dusk urged us to cooperate. So ask your question, Outlander. What flaw made you fail to fulfill the prophecy? Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerevar. For I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. But power alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me. That's that's true. Mortal, <gasps> let us speak. Lettuce. She's a vegetarian. Lettuce, okay. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Gardenfell. <clears throat> I know. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian. I know. Uh, I commuted with the, uh, with the Incarnates. Just as the wise woman commanded. Dovrissi's wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chodala confident, reckless. The staff is the source of Chor uh, Chodala's power? Your instincts served you well. Chodala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunra, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf 
and Vivex. I'll do what you ask. Then go. Return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And let Saren assist you. She is my champion and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. Okay. So has she... Has Azura spoken to Saren? So how do I prove that Chodla isn't the Nerevarine? Use what the Incarnate shared with you. Their failures point the way toward Chodla's downfall. But beware Chodla's power. He may not be the Nerevarine, but some greater agency has lent strength to his conviction. Why don't you simply just reveal the truth to the Ashlanders? Due to an ancient pact, I am not permitted to interfere in the affairs of Nern. Even this casual discussion pushes the boundaries of that agreement. Instead, I must work through trusted agents, such as yourself and Saren. <sighs> oh, excuse me, guys. Just a reminder. I have very low energy because I'm still technically recovering from COVID, but I am feeling a lot better. Although I do look a little pale on camera. Maybe. Why are you helping Vivek? I thought you and the tribunal were enemies. I was about to question that, actually. Helping that arrogant imposter? <laughs> Whatever gave you the idea that I was helping that murderer? Vardenfell must stand. Everything I do in this regard serves that single goal. Best that you remember that, mortal. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to offend you, ma'am. Miss Azura, lady. All right, let's talk to Saren. That's the next part of the quest. Divine Delusions. This quest is very interesting. I'm very, I'm liking this quest a lot, actually. The quest itself is very rich with information and lore, you know? Wait, where, where is she? Oh, she's way back there. I'm just gonna fast travel because, again, I'm... It's far... Yeah, hell nah, dude. On the fall. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I did not go this far. For. <gasps> that was close. Hey, now we have this top side. Now, if we need to go anywhere up there, we have a. A direct access. Did we unlock it? Okay, thank God. That would have been awkward if we didn't actually unlock it. Thank the moon and star. You've returned. Yes, I did. Hello. The wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into Scar to meet with the tribes. Chodal is in there too, about to be named the Nereverine. Tell me you came back with something to stop my brother's rise to power. Well, I mean, I spoke to the uh, incarnates and they gave me these scrolls. Uh, of course. Use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Chodala's arguments. That's brilliant. Well, except for one problem. Problem? An outlander has no status in the council. The Ashlanders won't listen to a word you say. Someone else has to present the arguments. You. Someone they trust. You. I suppose that means I have to challenge my brother. <gasps> With your help, of course. Uh, how can I help if I can't talk during the council? You spoke to the incarnates, not me. I'm familiar with their stories, but I'll need you to help me choose the appropriate argument to counter each of Chodala's claims. I hate opposing my brother in this. I just don't see another way. When should I give you the, uh, Incarnate Ransko scroll? Incarnate Ransko was strong and powerful. He thought that by strength alone, he could unite the Ashlanders. He failed. 
When Chodala proclaims his power, that's when we'll refer to this scroll's sad tale. I'm not gonna remember that. When should I give you Incarnate a uh, uh, Aduri scroll? Incarnate Aduri was a champion of my people. She defended us against great threats. But when she grew to love war for war's sake, she proved she wasn't the Nerevarine. When Chodala proclaims that war is the answer, hand me this scroll. Denet. Incarnate Donut thought his way was the best way. He rejected the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans, something Nerevar would never do. When Chodala proclaims he knows better than anyone, we'll use this scroll. I'm willing to bet that one's going to be last because he's probably going to be arrogant and try to go against the, the people. All right, let's go dispute your brother's claim. I'm not going to remember any of that, so I'm probably going to have to figure that out. Enter Scar. <gasps> oh no, Lion King. We're going to have to fight a freaking lion. We got this, though. It's only four, three or four scrolls, something like that. Must we continue this farce? It's obvious that I'm the narrow barrier. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodala. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your arguments and render my decision. I was about to say, are you going to talk, or...? Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the Nerevarian. That's Ramzo, right? Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. Give me the scroll that discounts such a trait for the Nerevarian. I think it's Ramzo. Yes, that's a sound argument. Incarnate, appear! As a warrior and as an Ashkar, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow my example. The faithless houses dare to threaten our land, but we War. shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. Okay, we got the next one. This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. Which scroll do you recommend to counter this argument? Um, I think it's Alduri's because Dinat's the one is the other one that goes against the council. I I think so. I think it's Alduri. That makes sense. I'll try that. Incarnate appear. Let's see. I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing. I need no counsel but my own, as befits my is. status as the Nerevarian. I figured. See, I, I eliminated in my head just the way people are naturally arrogant. If you get, if everyone's against you, you go, like, they naturally go against everyone else in self-defense, you know? So I figured that the that last one was going to be this one. One more strong assertion, and that should do it. Uh, incarnate does, uh, to prove your, uh, whatever. Of course. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans. I thought I knew best, but I knew nothing. That is not the way of the Nerevarian. Seren and the Outlander, their arguments have merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerevarian. Defeat the Red Exiles? Look how the staff protects me. I am the Nerevarian. Red Exiles, slay me. Brother, no. Oh, we're gonna have to kill him. Oh, there's more coming. There's a boss. For the narrow varine. Who are you?
Nice try there, buddy. She was actually kind of tough. Tanky wise. Yeah, I agree, Bastion. Let's go ahead and go. Follow Saren. But they didn't go this way, did they? They went down, down stairs. Huh. Go to my hut and get my I hate what my brother's now. become. Right away, wise woman. Talk to Azura. Tomorrow, <gasps> I would have words with you. Oh, wait. Talk. Chodala has been revealed as a failed Nerevari. But that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course of action. As long as he wields the staff, he shall be unstoppable. So, what should we do? Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. As much as I deplore him, Vivek cannot fall to Chodala's vile magic. There's another power at work here. One I can't quite put my finger on. Uh, there, there must be something I could do. Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek. And pay heed to my faithful vessel, Sarah. I name her Champion of the Moon and Star. She will play a pivotal role in ending her brother's march toward godhood. If she survives. If? Okay, I'll return to Vivek City. That was... Exhilarating. Right behind you, partner. Are you okay? That was glorious. Lady Azura's presence filled me with such wonder. She actually spoke through me. I heard everything she said, and I felt her sense of urgency. You need to return to Vivek City immediately. Uh, she said you were her champion, and that I would need your help. And help you I shall. Return to Vivek City, while I track down my brother and his damnable staff. With the Ashlanders against him, he won't have many options. After I locate him, I'll meet you, and we can find a way to break through Chodala's defenses. We're gonna have to off him, aren't we? He seems like one of those idiots that we're gonna have to off because he's too damn prideful. I am the Nerevarine. Now die. Vivek City. <sighs> Vardenfell. Whoa. I can't play in first person, man. It's... It's... It's very weird. Pull yourself together. <gasps> You're a buoyant armager for Vivek's sake. He's actually sitting down. As a god weakens, so too does his city suffer. I know my people grow fearful. Even the arch cannon is distressed. But the energy that remains to me holds the moonlit in the sky. At least for now. So what news does my eyes and ears bring to me? Uh, we discredited Chodala as the Nerevarine, but he escaped with Sunra. Sunra. How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sofa Seal's tool confounds my understanding. And he dares use my power? Still, your help is appreciated. Every strike and parry takes us one step closer to ending this threat and restoring my vitality. So, uh, if we don't off him, if the sister doesn't off him, one of these tribunals will off him. Due to Lord Vivek's condition, it falls upon us to find a solution. Yes, it does.